We are here to bounce today. Not me, but this little fella right here. 950 Platinum 50 Gallium. Yup, it's a hard platinum. Now I'm guessing this is around 300 plus Vickers because Platinum Gallium in its annealed state is around 270 plus Vickers. So after cold processing and being pulled into a wire, I think it's safe to say this is 300 plus Vickers. Why polar spring, you might ask? Well, firstly, most if not all, the springs used in jewelry and industry is made of stainless steel because there is usually no other harder metal to do it. Secondly, especially platinum. Especially platinum 950, right? No way, platinum 950. It's hard enough to be loaded as a functional spring. Or could it? That's what we are here to find out today, to see if Platinum 950 is hard enough to be pulled and coiled into a functional spring for a functional clasp. Pulling the wire was a huge difficulty because the Platinum Gallium was just so hard to work with. It either doesn't pull or it threatens to snap and we had to constantly anneal it while we were pulling the wire. It took way more work than we expected to get it down to a 0.3 millimeter diameter. We then coiled it at a non-jury springs factory. These springs who have all the proper equipment to pull springs of all different sizes. And voila, this little handsome guy is born. First test, not very scientific, just comparing the feel between the two springs. Yeah, to be honest, the platinum gallium is a little bit softer than the stainless steel. It doesn't have that hard, snappy touch of steel. Instead, it's got like a softer, damper feel on the compression. Mm. We then loaded it into a classic collapse to see how the platinum gallium compares to the stainless steel counterpart. But our question at hand is, is the platinum gallium hard enough to function as a real spring? And the answer is yes, it is. Second test, is it durable? Does it hold its springiness after repeated use and abuse? For that, we found a really cool custom build test equipment. Now we put the spring in to test compression for 10,000 times to see if the spring would warp, lose its flex, or would it hold strong after repeated abuse. And I'll say, it holds pretty well. Even after 10,000 compression, it feels just almost the same as before. That's what my fingers are telling me. We are not suggesting that stainless steel springs should be replaced by platinum springs. We just want to push the boundary on how hard platinum 950 could be. Because you know the market has all this misconception about PT950 not being hard enough of a metal, which is a total ridiculous myth, we are here to disprove. Now hey, if platinum 950 is strong enough and hard enough to load a spring, it's definitely good enough for your standard jewelry, especially for jam setting. And again, we're not saying platinum springs are now hard enough to replace the stainless steel spring in jewelry class. Or could it? 